Let me make this clear, okay? Hillary is corrupt, extremely corrupt. I have never stated otherwise, but I also think she's about on the same level of corruption that has been common since the Reagan administration. We're already used to that type of corruption. That doesn't excuse it, but our country knows how to work with it. Obama is corrupt in the same way, but I don't think he was originally corrupt before taking office. If you look into all the presidents since Reagan, I mean, there's obviously Nixon before then and a number of others, there has been this type of corruption. Granted, Hillary's corruption was able to be seen before she took office, and this is only because of the leaked emails. I'm betting Bush's senior presidency had tons of this corruption. I'm betting Bill Clinton had even more of it. Then we had Bush Jr., who we all know was extremely corrupt, and some of these people were corrupt before taking office, like Hillary. Trump is an altogether different type of corruption. His is the corruption that can be often seen in the business world and not the political world. The business world, the larger the better, is the world that really sticks it to the little guys far more than the political world does. And now we're going to combine the corruption of both types of worlds? That's a recipe for disaster. When we start letting companies do whatever the fuck they want, they will do whatever the fuck they want. Ethics and morality aren't even in the picture. As always, there will be businesses that are compassionate and actually give a shit about the community, but the ones that aren't that way, especially large corporations that aren't that way, they ruin the reputation for those that are that way. The sad truth is that the corruption within the office of the president is so enormous that anyone who even gets into that position is forced to be corrupt. The decisions that the president has to make in this country are unacceptable. And so we're going to give the reins to someone who knows all the things that businesses want to get away with and will let them get away with it? Awful. Truly awful. The biggest problem we've already had is that we're becoming like a corporatocracy. This has the potential of being more of a threat to our way of life than even globalism. This is why I don't even have that much of a problem with globalism when I put it in contrast to other things that could affect us greatly. Globalism could be something we wean into so it doesn't hurt too badly. And there are actually a number of advantages to it for the general public. Granted, it obviously takes away from the individuality of our national identity, so that's not a particularly good thing for most people. There really is no advantage for the general public to a corporatocracy. The business world is not what it used to be, and so much is focused on cutting corners to try to bypass regulations, regulations that are there for good reason, though there are obviously some regulations that are silly. And the idea of just gutting regulations like a libertarian would do, yeah, the public is fucked, but you know, at least companies are making more money, right? There are unfortunately a lot of people who want to do away with most of the government, and they state that it's the way this country was originally designed. Well, that is the way it was designed, and we found that that wasn't working so well. As I said in a different video, it, uh, child labor, uh, safety, you know, just a number of things. But it seems the way Trump wants to do away with a lot of the government is by eliminating most of the departments of the government by using asset stripping methodology, but on government departments instead. And then, you know, relocate people to possible other departments if there are even jobs available, and if not, of course, you know, by Felicia. Granted, some of these departments could really use a lot of overhaul, and some could be a little more lean, but that doesn't happen when you hire people that are only there to destroy the departments.